In this quick tips video, I'm going to give you some basic tips to give you a greater understanding of traffic lights. And as usual with these quick tips videos, please stay tuned until the very end and I'll give you a link to some of my other videos on lights that will go into a lot more detail. So let's get started. The red light means stop. The green light means you can go provided it's safe. And the amber light means you should stop unless it's unsafe to stop. So unless you're too close to the line to stop safely. You may also have some arrow lights as well, like this green arrow light here pointing to the right. So that means you can go right provided it's safe to do so. So you should be okay to go right if you have a green arrow, but just double check to make sure. And if the arrow light is flashing amber, that means you can go in that direction that the arrow is pointing, um, provided there's no traffic on the adjoining road or the other road up ahead. And if you have a flashing amber circle light, like this here, but flashing on and off every second or two. That means you can proceed, but you must be aware and give way to pedestrians who are crossing or about to cross. You also have to be very aware of a stale green light. When you're approaching traffic lights, a stale green light is a light that's been green for a long time. So as you're coming up to the junction, perhaps the junction might be empty or very quiet and the green light has been shining for quite a while, it could go amber and red, so don't speed up. Maybe just ease off the accelerator and give yourself more time to react in case it suddenly changes amber or red. Watch out for the road markings as well. Always aim, like the yellow car here, to stop at the first white line because the second um, and third white lines could indicate like a cycle bed air or perhaps a pedestrian crossing here. And I don't advise stopping right up at the line. I usually tell people just to stop about a meter or a meter and a half back from the line, like the yellow car there, just in case one of the lights is broken. So if this light is not working, but the lights situated here are working, by staying a little further back like that, you'll have a better view of the uh, near side lights here. And another reason to be a little bit further back like the yellow car here is just in case um, a big bus or a big truck needs a slightly wider turn like this, by staying a little further back it just plans ahead a little bit better in case somebody needs a big wide swing. Also to be aware of when you're dealing with traffic lights is the rule for turning right. Now I'll go into this in a bit more detail in other videos but once you have a full green light you don't have to wait for the arrow to come on, especially for the first car. So you should roll up into the middle like the blue car is there and then give way to oncoming cars and then proceed once it's safe. As I said, I'll leave a link at the end that will go into more detail on that. But the main message is, if you have a full green, you don't necessarily have to wait for the arrow to come up. So that brings us to the end of this quick tips video on traffic lights. Coming up on screen, you'll see some more videos now that I've made quite recently on turning right, which includes some information on the yellow box and some more videos on traffic lights. So please have a look at those for a greater understanding and a more in-depth demonstration of traffic lights and the rules around them. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon.